So we meet again in the bathroom. One, it feels so weird to even be talking right now and hearing my voice because I haven't talked probably within like the last five, six hours or so unless it was to send voice memos. And also I haven't filmed in at least a week. So it may take me a second to kind of get back into the swing of that or have this actually feel normal again, even though I've been doing it for the last like seven, eight years. Anyway, so how have you guys been doing? I hope you've been doing well. I am kind of like just getting back into the swing of things or I guess you could say kind of being placed back into reality because my man has been here or he was here for the last four days. So, you know, I'm very grateful I'm even able to take a step back from everything and just kind of be in my own world for four days and not really have to worry about anything. That was definitely much needed and I had a great time. But now we're back. And I'm going to be taking these next couple of days to kind of like get my shit back together. Nothing crazy at all. I'm just going to kind of get back into my own routine that I have for myself and things that I would normally do when I'm by myself. So I did already straighten up my place. My room was a fucking disaster. My bathroom was a mess. My living room was... Everything had been utilized. And um... Yeah, that needed to be cleaned, but we're back. My place has been straightened up. He had a flight at um, 4.30, but they boarded at 3.50. We were literally in bed at 2 p.m. And that's because at first we were almost trying to intentionally miss it, but we're not even gonna talk about that. Kind of disappointed that he actually made the flight, but it's fine. I didn't even put leave-in conditioner in my hair now that I think about it, but I guess it doesn't really matter because I did condition my hair deep condition my hair and it's already dead so it doesn't even matter at this point i am currently prepping my hair because i'm about to get another protective style i try to give my hair the time of day and leave it out but every time i leave it out um i throw a fit and i want to shave my head bald like <laughs> I get so frustrated with it and I get so sick of the same like two hairstyles that I do and I don't even think they make me look my prime. I literally just want to shave it all off. But we're not going to do that and I think the only thing that's going to stop me is keeping my hair braided up. Also I got a new heat protectant because me just never using heat protectant on my hair when I'm getting ready to blow it out and potentially fry it. And then I, I got a heat protectant. <laughs> I got this one thinking I was doing something or thinking, you know, I was taking that extra step towards healthier hair. And I got the Chi 44 Iron Guard Thermal Protection Spray. And then I posted that I got this one and people were saying it has alcohol in it. Why would you put alcohol in a heat protectant? I don't know, but that's trash. And I got this Pantene one. So we're gonna try this one out. So much darker than it was like a couple videos ago i had like this reddish brown faded chocolate it used to be chocolate brown it was just fading to a color that still looked nice but it looked unintentional at that point and i was just ready to go back to um, like darker brown like my hair used to be um so right now my hair is definitely darker you can see there's lighter hair here which is what was blonde at one point so for me to not even have used real hair dye i feel like it did a pretty good job also i did go back in um and try to i guess somewhat color correct the greenish tone i had to my hair when i first colored it with that color conditioner because i guess whenever i tried to go straight from that lighter color to black i didn't fill in that blonde with a warmer color so i went in and got the red color conditioner used that i had like this really pretty like reddish tone to my hair but i still wanted to go back to just like the solid dark brown Slash black. So I went back over it with the black, but I didn't leave it in long enough. But I think that greenish tone is out and it's just like a dark brown now. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back.
Okay, so I'm in the living room. I feel like y'all don't really see me on the couch like that because I really don't be on it like that. For what I paid for this couch, I should probably utilize it a little more. I guess if I'm by myself, I just prefer my bed because my room is like my comfort spot for me. And I don't know, but also throughout the day, normally I'm always doing something. God knows what, but it's always something. It's like biting on my toes right now. Um, there's cats everywhere, but my bed is like, that's where I sleep. My room, I just correlate it to sleeping, bathing. That's pretty much it. Throughout the day, I don't really go back and revisit my room and I will definitely, like I very rarely actually get back in bed during the day. But then when I'm home, this is actually going absolutely nowhere. I am out here though because I'm gonna watch Hulu. If you watch American Horror Story and you keep up, how are y'all liking the new season so far? I've been watching it on Hulu and I guess they've only come out with four, like five seasons or five episodes for the new season. It had to grow on me, but now like I'm actually understanding the plot and I really like it. Yeah, I was watching that over the last couple of days. Actually, I think I finished the whole, like all five episodes within one night. Yeah, but I'm about to watch Family Guy because that is not something I actually even gave the time of day until maybe a month ago and even though i feel like i'm lowering my iq when i watch it and i definitely couldn't watch it when i was younger watching it now it's the first show that i've watched that's kind of just a i guess a feel-good show and the first show has actually made me laugh out loud because shit don't really be funny to me like i don't be laughing like that like i'm not I don't know, for me to actually laugh and think something's actually funny, not just a slight giggle to make you feel good, it takes a lot. So, I mean, even when I was younger, if I were to watch it, I wouldn't have understand, it, like, why I couldn't watch it. But yeah, we haven't talked in a minute, so it's nice to be back. Yesterday, last night, we went on GoPuff, and um, we're just craving snacks, so we was eating, like, shit at, like, 1 a.m. GoPuff is the place to go if you don't feel like leaving the house. Even though I always suggest leaving the house because GoPuff, they will tax out the ass. But they have like everything on there. This is really good. It's not hitting like it was a couple nights ago. That was not last night because I was gone. But it still hits now. Like never would I actually go out of my way to get Southern Butter Pecan Ice Cream or Gelato. But it's so good. I need but subtitles. At this rate, this is what the future will look like. Fuck is you looking at, bitch? It's 9 a.m. and I was supposed to be up at 8, but it's okay. I took a second to just not talk and just drive because I'm so tired. I have no energy whatsoever. But that's also because I went to bed at nearly 3. Kind of recovering from having no sleep schedule or no 
valid reason to wake up for the last couple of days so I've been big chilling but then obviously that affects me whenever it's time to actually get back into the swing of things but it really doesn't take me long and the thing is I'll be tired hours before I actually go to sleep I just force myself awake to make myself Okay, so update. I am in bed right after I said I don't normally normally like to visit my bed again until I'm, you know, going to sleep, but I am seriously so tired and I definitely did not get enough sleep last night and I'm feeling that like even after I ate um girl I'm tired and especially since I don't have a whole lot to do today it's like why would I suppress that I'm just gonna lay the fuck down so that's what I'm about to do but while I'm in bed I do have some things I need to do on my laptop so I'm just gonna do that while laying in bed so I could be chilling I'm not gonna go to sleep because then I know to, like I'm not gonna be able to go to bed later but I'm gonna at least just rest lay in bed because my body is so tired okay i'm gonna be chilling i went to tropical smoothie on the way home because i was starving even though i brought those snacks i left them in the car and i didn't get back out to get them the whole time i was getting my hair done i got my hair done from 10 15 yeah i finished at like four it only took six hours. That's not bad at all because that's faster than she did them the last time. And we were both saying how we think they look better. Like the parts just look so clean. She said they look better. I think they look just as amazing. Like they've looked amazing both times. But um, yeah, I got tropical smoothie on the way home. And now I'm just about to chill. Okay, so I'm back in the bed and I literally went out and didn't bring my camera, but I feel like that's okay. But like we all know that's okay, but whenever you're filming, you could have at least, but it was so spur of the moment. I just went to Target to get paper towels and cat food, so I didn't have to go in the morning because I would have hated that with a passion. Um, And then I was going to go to Chipotle because I knew that's like... Here, shit closes at 9 p.m. The only thing that's open after 10 is Chipotle, McDonald's. So I was gonna go to Chipotle, but then I forgot. Um, like I was on my way there and I was gonna get there at 10, 12. It like didn't click with me at first that girly, it's already closed. I had a really good little outing. I've been laying in bed for hours, which was needed honestly. Today was just a rest day and I just happened to start filming a video on a rest day where I just really needed to recharge and prioritize my rest because if not, I would have been dragging this shit on and it wouldn't even be enjoyable to watch, nor edit, nor film, nor upload. Also, that reminds me, I did want to talk in this video since it's not sponsored. My last video, I hate with a passion. I, I'm not proud of it. Working with the brand wasn't bad. I'm not talking shit about the brand. But it did take forever to kind of get shit like approved and then there's just things you can't say in sponsored videos and then that should have been sitting on my channel for like two weeks and once i have a project sitting for weeks i start to hate it if i don't upload it as soon as i finish editing it i'll just slowly start to hate it you know how sometimes you'll have pictures and you'll be like mm, i'm actually not like completely feeling that it's like that but then that video it just wasn't even i feel like my regular content i wasn't proud of the video before i even uploaded it and if i'm not proud of a video I'm not gonna be proud of the video. There's nothing anybody could say to me, no matter how the video performs, if I don't like it, I don't like it. And I always post content that I'm proud of. Producing wise, at least, I feel like I definitely have a gift for editing. Shit comes so easy for me. I don't know, like shit just be, it's crazy. And I feel like I don't give myself enough credit for that. And a lot of things, um, I just went on a whole rant on my spam account story. If you don't follow it, we've given you the chance then again i've had so many requests for the longest time and no matter how many i accept they don't disappear but i'm trying to accept them but if you ever want me specifically to accept you and you've been sitting for a minute because sometimes people will tell me that just comment your username in the comment section in the comment section i still can't get over it and i'll accept you i just if you just say like i've been sitting for so long and you haven't accepted me I don't know what your username is, so I can't really do anything about it. But yeah, I'm just going through a phase in my life where things are not rocky, but 
there's going to be i feel like i'm actually putting my foot down to make a change in my life and somewhat in my com content um i went on a whole rant so i'm not gonna drag it on here and once i'm like i talk about something and i'm really passionate about it i could probably only get into it like that once because it just rolls off the tongue and now i'd have to kind of kind of go through bullet points in my head of everything i said but it's all good things. I'm just, like, I'm growing. I'm growing up and I'm kind of doing this all on social media where anybody can watch, which can be scary. But I'm continuously learning, growing, and developing on a daily basis. And now I feel like I'm actually going out of my way to put effort into that. Yeah, overall, really good stuff. Um, I know today's footage was probably boring as shit, but, like, it... Then again, I have to remind myself, I don't need to be skydiving every video. Like, it's okay to just chat. Yeah, I love talking, so y'all are gonna hear it. I just ate, like, old-ass Mexican food for dinner because, um, I need to go grocery shopping really bad. Chamberlain Coffee is now on GoPuff, and I know y'all have heard me talk about GoPuff before. It's only been in, like, a video or two, so maybe you haven't, but, um, I kind of want to order it just so I can have it for the morning because I've always been interested in trying her coffee, but I feel like it being on such an easily accessible app that you can download on your phone is even better than, you know, having to go to the website. Let's see. $20, that's not bad. Or is it? Eh, it's up there, but, like, it's also Emma Chamberlain, so, like, she could... We're gonna let it slide. But then also, I know, damn, I'm sure the creamer, like, I don't wanna fuck this up. Like, I wanna use all the right products. It's a ground, though, and I have two big ass bags of coffee ground. We are not buying shit out of boredom. Good morning, guys. So, it's actually the following day, and I didn't even know if I was gonna film anything today, but I'm actually, like, I'm feeling pretty good. I set an alarm for both 9 and 10, like 9 15 and 10. I woke up at 10 and laid in bed for a good 40 minutes. This is like a classic favorite of mine that I've had for the longest. It's just a body mist. It's a Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals. Literally smells so good if you like really sweet scents. We're gonna go ahead and get ready. I have not done my makeup in like at least a week actually, which is great. You know, we let the skin breathe, but I actually really miss doing it. And especially when I first get my hair done, I want to just go all out. I don't care where I'm going. It doesn't matter. I just want to be able to beat my face. It's like raining outside. The weather's kind of ugly, but that's okay. That means I get to wear a cute rain jacket. I'm not going to go through the whole process because I just made a video on my current makeup routine. So I'm going to go ahead and get through this, beat my face, put on a little fit. I think he wants to get out. You can come in. What? Gotta get out? Okay, so I'm done getting ready. My makeup is done. My hair already done. Best feeling ever. Um, I have biker shorts on. I'm obviously not gonna go out in this. I don't know what to wear. Is it raining right now? And it's only 77 degrees. I'm gonna just wear the same shit I always wear. Um Okay. Um. Um, just realized I slept with my door unlocked the whole night. Feels like I'm walking through a hotel when I walk through these halls because they're always so quiet. I guess the carpet on the floors, it just feels like a doesn't it? Y'all feel that? It's, and it's so, yeah, it's just quiet and good. But I prefer that, to be honest. Okay, so y'all are gonna sit in the passenger, passenger seat today. I don't know why I can't talk this morning um instead of sitting on my dash because it just makes more sense <gasps> got me feeling like I'm so, it's so hot it's not even raining but today's just gonna be a super gloomy and rainy day and it's going to randomly rain throughout the day so i'm just gonna keep this jacket on flexing on you i'm your father My bitch goes to Rico, but we in Puerto Rico. Oh, she be wet, hold my breath, dive in her with sick with my Give me a My wrist leaking now. I'm unfazed. I'm unfazed. Give a fuck about.
bad with a sore shame Don't attach me to your name I make it right, you can have it, bro So fake What's the me? Um, as you can see, it's definitely raining. I'm here at first watch though, and we're about to go inside and get something to eat. Same shit I always get here, never gets old. My outfit makes no sense. I'm wearing a tank top, biker shorts, forces, and then a rain. It makes sense to me, and I guess that's all that matters. I don't want to get out though, still. <laughs> oh, this battery's about to die too. I just got an iced coffee, and I already get the same thing every time, so I don't even know why I act like I look at the menu. But they do have these pumpkin spice donuts that they didn't have the last time I was here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm probably... If I'm gonna get French toast, yeah, I'll get French toast, but I normally get two, so instead of getting two, I'll get one, and then I'll just get pumpkin spice donuts as well. I keep messing with my hair because normally when I have knotless braids, they're super flowy and you can do whatever you want with them, which is great. But then also they get all up in your face like this all the time. And normally I like to at least pull back these strands or I'll put them up on top of my head. So if you see me messing with my hair, that's the reason why. But I, oh my gosh, my brights are on. I'm leaving first watch. Food was great, and now I'm going back home to Lampin. Um, I love the productivity attempt on a rainy, gloomy day, but I'm tired. I'm home. I've been home for like two hours, probably. Um, I'm so tired. I don't know if it's the weather. Oh my gosh, you see how... That took ripping. It didn't hurt, but they were on good. Like, I could go on a roller coaster, stick my head out the window, and I would be set. This lash glue right here is my absolute favorite. It's so good. And these are the Tati Lashes in TL3. They've been my go-to for the longest, and I have so many pairs of them. I was actually laying in bed for like an hour or so with my makeup on because I just haven't gotten ready in a minute so I wanted to kind of saturate in it. And then like if I wanted to go back out, I would still be done, but it's like I can't even fully relax with the makeup on my face. It was cute. I feel like I sat in it long enough and then, you know, we'll get ready again sometime soon. I need to go grocery shopping badly, but today was just not the day to do that. And I really wanna actually go into the grocery store with a list because normally when I go grocery shopping, I'll just go in and pick things out that look good. More like snack foods and you know, things I use really frequently for let's say breakfast. But I wanna actually go in, like go ahead and um, look up a couple different recipes and actually go shopping for those ingredients. So I'm not just buying random shit and hoping it'll get me through the week. like. It's not how it works. I just don't really enjoy grocery shopping all that much or cooking at that, but it's something I definitely want to get into. I want to actually try to make different foods, but nothing beats being cooked for. I don't care. I will eat anything if it's cooked for me, anything. So yeah, at the moment I pretty much have nothing in my fridge, which kind of makes things challenging. It's like every meal, once I get to it, I'm like, the fuck am I gonna eat? Cause I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. But I'll do that soon. I'm just gonna get help making a list first so I don't buy random ass shit that I'll never actually use. 
You know what? I think I know what I may want to eat. I may want to go to Bar Taco. Apparently, Bar Taco has burrito tacos, which I've never had before, but they look so good. I don't know if that's the best place to get them. I don't think that would be the most authentic, but it probably would still taste good. If I do do that, I'd probably call ahead of time and go pick them up. we will probably do that a little bit later. Whenever I was getting my hair done, we normally put on a show and we normally get through a good amount of the show because, you know, my hair, I was in that chair for a minute. She put on All American, which I've heard good things about. I just never really took the time to get into it or watch it so she had already started watching it so we didn't the very first episode i watched was maybe like episode five six i don't know we probably went through three episodes and oh my gosh like i was actually getting into it so easily and there was a couple times where i had already gotten teary-eyed like i was getting really into the show and i'm mad because if i would have known it was that good i wouldn't have wanted to see that because now if i go to watch it which i probably will i already know like a couple things that are really important like big like i've already seen like some crazy shit happen in the show but i could just act like I ain't seen nothing. But let me edit because I could have started this hours ago and I did not. Recently, I have been, whenever I do edit, I import all of my clips into iMovie and this is where I'll actually put together the rough cut because iMovie, it's just, it's not as intricate. You can still do tons on it, but it's not the same and it doesn't take up as much storage. So it's easier to get a rough cut done on here without dealing with any lagging. And then once I have the rough cut done, I go in final cut and I'll add all of my music, sound effects, transitions, filters. That's where I'll kind of polish the video up. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna go about this video cause I kind of want to do just super, my videos aren't extremely edited, I don't feel like, but they used to be even more simple than they are now. And I kind of liked it. I just feel like it gives an even more personal feel. So we'll see. We'll see what. Y'all, looking from this angle, it looks like this cloud is about to swallow me or swallow the whole building. I just walked out from my room and it's just a crazy view because the view out here is a lot different than in my bedroom. I don't really see any of this. I just see over there. But this is crazy. It doesn't even look real. It's probably not, to be honest. These last couple of days have been crazy for me because I'm just in the process of like figuring a lot of shit out and I have a lot going through my mind and it's not like bad at all. But for example, I'm over here. I started editing this video that you guys are watching now. I haven't even left the house. I just started talking the night before I actually started filming and it's already like six minutes long. And I was about to continue this video into tomorrow where I have errands, like I'm gonna actually get things done. Um, which was supposed to be what I was gonna do in this video, but it didn't really end up happening I've just been like tired and catching up on sleep. Honestly, I was about to continue it into tomorrow But I think I'm just gonna make it a separate video because this video is already gonna probably be a smooth 30 minutes Yeah, like I think today's just gonna be a really chill video and I have to remind myself You don't have to do like I always feel like I need to do something crazy or brand new in every video but realistically, I get worn out trying to do that, especially where I live. And then also, like, I get that some people like to live vicariously through other people. But it's not really that person's job to do the most for you. Um, and I have to remind myself, like, people that genuinely want to watch you just for you and to feel like they're hanging out with you, we don't need to be going to, like... You know, we don't need to do anything crazy. I mean, sometimes, yeah, it will be things that are like more exciting than things that happen in this video, but I have to remind myself that doesn't, like it's not gonna happen all the time. And I feel like more people can relate to that than me like doing the most in every video when that's not even how I live on a regular basis. Um, I ordered food. I actually did order the burrito tacos and um, just like some chips with guac and salsa, I think, from Bar Taco. So I'm gonna go and pick that up. I just did like, Pickup order. How are you? Hey, I'm oh, it looks so good. Oh yeah, I kinda wanna go to Smoothie King and get a smoothie as well. I could have went from I mean I could still go. I don't need it. I need to drink water. Hello, thank you, Virginia. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Okay, I don't have anything for ask you. What do you need to do? Anything? Do you guys? Are you guys possibly able to still make an orange refresher? I'm sorry, an orange refresher? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not really sure what an orange refresher is. 
Um, that's the first time I've really heard someone say that. Okay. No, they used to make it, but it discontinued so long ago. Um, I just wasn't sure if it was still possible to make. That's fine, though. That. I mean, the only refreshers that we do have at the moment is kiwi surface, mango dragon fruit, and the strawberry side. I'm going to do, actually, can I just do a strawberry refresher with lemonade instead of water, please? Please do not tell me I'm the only person that remembers when they made orange refreshers. That shit was fucking fire. I don't know why they discontinued it, but that would have been so nostalgic to try again. And I'm pissed. Not actually, but I'm sure I can find a way, I can look online how they can, like how I can order it. But yeah, I'm currently just going through, I don't know, like I feel really good, but I'm just trying to find that balance with not only myself, but my content again. I'm just kind of going through a phase where I'm just trying to find a balance on my channel again, where I can kind of somewhat branch out again um but obviously like i'm still gonna continue doing the videos that i like to do consistently now but then kind of splashing in other content here and there alongside that just other things that i'm interested in and i have a second channel and i had a lot of people suggest like why don't you just post it on the second channel and i can i am gonna make content for that account i'm gonna revive it bring it back to life um, sooner than later probably within the next two months but I'm also wanting to branch out on my main channel because this is this channel is my main focus and I still don't want to be stuck doing the same video over and over again on here I'm always scared that my cards gonna decline like I don't care what's in my checking if I'm just scared it's gonna decline there's gonna be a card malfunction or something and there's gonna be a huge line of cards or people behind me and I'm gonna have to like figure that shit out so it'll actually go through this is pretty good though like it's actually refreshing but yeah let me know how you're feeling about this video this isn't anything different but i'm telling you this is the first video where i haven't tried to go out of my way to like be entertaining <laughs> like to be a character almost like this is just who i am truly um and yeah my camera fell to the complete opposite side of my car but i was looking through my old videos when I was maybe 12 years old. And I know a lot of people that have had channels for a long time, they go back and look at content from so long ago and they think it's so cringy and just disgusting and they just don't wanna watch it. For me, it almost brings me to tears because I'm seriously able to watch, like I've been able to watch myself grow up on social media, which has had its pros and cons. Um, and I'm always sometimes curious how I would've turned out without it or if i didn't grow up on social media like what would be different but it's just crazy how i used to be so content with the simplicities of life and obviously i was 12 so I'm, i don't have the same interest but it would be like reading books finding bugs outside dancing just it was just so pure like i was so pure and innocent and just in my own world doing my own thing yeah and then like i watched that phase and then i watched like the 2017 2018 phase where I didn't really do anything. I was just kind of myself. I would maybe go to Walmart with my mom. Um, I watched like the family beach trips uh, that I would go on with my family and that shit. Those were really cool to look back at. Um, but yeah, back in like 2018, literally all I did was go to Walmart. <laughs> I didn't do anything, but it was fun. And I just feel like every year I've put so much more pressure on myself to be more entertaining. Not for myself, but for people that I will never, like, actually meet. Like, but for other people. Hello? Hello. Hi. What? You mean driving? Yeah, I went to the taco place and then I just left Starbucks and I'm about to go home. Mm -hmm. No, I think so. Um, I'm gonna take a break from Starbucks. Oh. Just say you're addicted. <laughs> I'm not. The no. first way to get over addiction is saying you have addiction. What? The first step to getting over addiction is saying you have one. <laughs> Uh-huh. What? These look bomb. 
Are they warm still? I don't know what the texture is supposed to be like. Um, I don't know if they've gotten a little soggy since they've been sitting here for a minute. Probably. Um, lime never disappoints. So actually, let me. It's also been like 50 minutes since they've been done. So for that to be the case, it's really good. I just feel like I can't give them a proper rating because they were sitting. So I'm in the car right now, it's 9.40 and I'm on my way to um, one of my friend Karen's um, campus actually because she's having issues with her camera pretty much the only issue people ever have with a g7x which is where the screen will pretty much just fall off for fun um and i had a like my old g7x that i would never use again because it's broken um hence the reason i got this one but she just needs the screws um so she was asking if i had any extra and i said you know you could literally just take the camera take the screws and give it back to me whenever even though i'll never use it again um i'll at least you know have it but yeah so i'm gonna drop that off to her let me let her know i'm like less than five minutes away hi it's like not even touching me like that. Like, oh yeah, it's not bad. It's been raining all day. Yeah, okay. it's been like pouring. I know, but here you go. Um, yeah, screws are there. You'll just need a screwdriver. Yes, to I can get it detach. out. Detach. I think my roommate she has like literally everything. Really? Yeah. Okay. Handy That's oh, good. Oh, also, did you still want to hang out on Friday? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sounds good. No problem. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna take my ass back home, eat the l rest of my food that I didn't eat because I'm hungry again. I'll eat, like I'll be starving. I'll eat and then I'll feel full, but then 30 minutes later I'm starving again. So I have like the tortilla, the big ass tortilla chips that they gave me with a ton of guacamole and guacamole is like a healthy fat that actually fills you up. Um, I sound like my parents, but yeah. So I'm gonna eat that and then I have like Pre-made protein shakes, those have caffeine in it, which doesn't affect me, but I kind of don't even want to take the risk. So I also have like Greek yogurt, granola, I'll be fine. Right, guys so i'm in bed it's um 11 20 something and i'm gonna go ahead and close off this video here because um i am gonna go ahead and just instead of continuing this video into to a, a third day i'm gonna go ahead and start a new one tomorrow yeah i'm gonna end it now because it's late i'm just gonna continue to edit this video that you guys are watching right now i wanted to finish it tonight but that depends I probably won't because I don't want to force myself to stay up super late because I need to be up at a decent time. But I'll definitely see you guys for me tomorrow for you guys in the next couple of days most likely. I love you all the most. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video if you did. I feel like it was definitely more of just a wind down like something you would watch when you're just winding down just chilling you know whatever it may be. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.